Big pile of shuttle is made of six three minute blocks. In the first three minute window, we have synchro wall balls. In these wall balls, the athlete's hips must go below their knees and they must hit the appropriate target at the same time as their teammates. In the remaining time of that block, the team must complete as many shuttle runs as possible as a team. In the next three minute block, we have hand release press ups. For the hand release press up, our chest must hit the floor. We touch our temples and we look at the full extension of the elbow and we're synchronizing at the top and bottom of each rep. The body must move as one and you will get no reps for excessive movement at the hips. In the remaining time, we have more accumulating shuttle runs. In block three, we have alternating hang squat cleans synchro. The rep must start in the hang position and cannot touch the floor. We must alternate arms. We need to get our hips lower than our knees in the receiving position and both athletes must stand up at the same time. Again, in the remaining time of that window, the team must complete as many team shuttle runs as possible. In block four, we have synchro devil press. Now the athletes must alternate their arms, their chest must hit the floor. They're going to perform a ground to overhead. We want to see full extension in the elbow, shoulder, hips and knees at the top of the rep. And the top of the rep is where the synchro will be counted. Again, in that remaining time of the block, the team must complete as many team shuttle runs as possible. The next block is rope climbs. You are not permitted to jump on that first rep. However, you can use your legs on the way up and on the way down, and you must touch the top of the rig at the top of each rep. Any time left over is a window to accumulate as many team shuttle runs as possible. In the final block, we have partner assisted wheelbarrow walks. One partner must hold both feet off the air whilst the other partner walks with their hands. Both hands must start behind the cones. So Shane's rep here would be a no rep. And both hands need to finish past the cones before the feet touch the floor. Any time remaining is your final chance to accumulate as many shuttle runs as possible. At the end of the workout, there will be a two minute window to accumulate as many reps of toes to bar, one athlete working at a time. Your number of toes to bar plus your number of shuttle runs is the score for the workout. Your feet must start behind the rig and then touch the bar for each rep. 